this video we're going to look at a technique that specifically and precisely treats the popliteus muscle. Now the popliteus muscle runs from the lateral femoral condyle of the femur over to the uh, superior portion of the posterior aspect of the tibia. So if we have a look at our model that we have here, the popliteus muscle runs from the posterior portion of this lateral condyle of the femur and it runs medially towards the superior aspect of the posterior aspect of the tibia. Now this is an, an important muscle to work on and it's one that a lot of people either don't work on enough or don't recognize the importance of it because in a lot of dysfunctions of the knee or the lower extremity there's usually some type of rotational torsion that occurs with the lower leg. Now when typically the lower leg externally rotates on the femur, what happens to that popliteus muscle is it becomes lengthened. And when that muscle becomes lengthened, it becomes hyper excited, it becomes tense, and it actually tries to itself rotate this tibia back into a more neutral position. So it's appropriate to work on this popliteus muscle as part of an overall treatment for the knee. It becomes inappropriate to work on this muscle if you don't recognize and treat the external rotation of the tibia on the femur because in that fact then you're just enabling a lengthening of this muscle tissue while not performing a correction to the lower extremity. So my suggestion to you is before you work on popliteus you would go through and make the correction to the external rotation of the tibia on the femur and then come back and release the popliteus from its dysfunctional holding pattern. So let's look at a treatment technique for popliteus. Okay, so I have the model in this position right now for you guys to be able to see exactly what structure and where my hand placements are going to be just so that you guys can orient yourselves while you're watching this video and while you're treating your patients. Remember that this is the lateral aspect of the knee. We have the fibula here, fibular collateral ligament here. This is the medial aspect of the knee with the MCL. We have the lateral meniscus, medial meniscus. And remember that popliteus runs from the lateral posterior condyle of the femur across inferiorly to the superior medial aspect of the, uh, of the tibia. So when we're going to be treating, we're going to be treating this muscle from the attachment on the femur towards the popliteal pulse, and then we're gonna be jumping over and treating from the tibia back over towards the popliteal pulse in a superior fashion. The way that that looks is that we'll have our hands underneath the knee, we'll be finding the popliteus, well actually we'll be finding the popliteal pulse first, we'll be finding the popliteus loading into that tissue, loading and encouraging a lengthening of that tissue towards the popliteal pulse, and then we'll be jumping down to its attachment on the medial aspect of the posterior tibia and we'll be working towards the popliteal pulse again. Once those two directions have been treated, then the treatment is done. So let's see what this looks like on our patient. So with our patient in a supine position, you're gonna have one arm on the medial aspect of their leg, one arm on the lateral aspect. You need to orient yourself first as where the bony landmarks and the structures are for the knee because it's quite detailed as to, and quite specific as to where to find the popliteus. A lot of people don't recognize exactly where it is, and they either work too deep or they don't work deep enough in order to find this muscle and be effective in their treatment. So what I want you to do first is with your thumbs, slow, and your hands underneath the knee, slowly take the knee very gently, anteriorly and posteriorly, in order to find that middle joint space on the lateral aspect and also on the medial aspect. Keep your thumbs on that middle joint space and take your fingers just at the exact same level of your thumbs. Now you will find that you have to 
sort of move the heads of the gastrox muscle out of the way because remember the gastrox crosses the knee and attaches onto the condyles of the femurs. And I want you to move the gastroc head out of the way and, and stay centered looking for that popliteal pulse. Now with some patients it might be dead center in behind the knee, some patients it might be a little bit lateral, some patients it might be a little bit medial. Every patient is completely different, but I want you to make sure that you find that pulse because we're not going to be working on it. Once you find the pulse, I want you to move more superiorly and laterally, and I want you to think about contacting the bone of the condyle of that distal femur. Once you can contact that bone, which is very deep to the head of the gastrox, you are on popliteus. It is that deep. If you can feel bone, you're on popliteus. So what I'd like you to do is engage the popliteus by having your hand vectored like this. You can have the opposite hand crossing over underneath the knee in order to support that hand so that you have proper biomechanics and posture. Once you find the popliteus, then I want you to engage it and I want you to slowly drag the popliteus medially and inferiorly towards that popliteal pulse. You should be feeling a little bit of resistance, a little bit of densification. There might be a lack of elasticity through this area. If this muscle has been trying to self-correct a dysfunctional position of the knee, it might feel hypersensitive and very tender or discomforting or painful. Remember that we need to work with the tissues in the body. We need to cooperate with them and that you should respect that reciprocal tension of the tissues. So as this tissue slowly starts to soften and melt, you can, with a direct technique, bring it towards the popliteal pulse. Once you get towards the midline, you can stop. You can reposition your fingers, again, finding that middle joint space. We're focusing on the medial aspect now. So you find the middle joint space with your thumb on the medial aspect of the knee. Keep your fingers at the exact same level. And then go a little bit inferior so that you are on the medial posterior plateau of that tibial condyle. From there, you want to work a little bit deeper. You may have to move some structures out of the way, such as the gastrox medial head and load towards the bone. Once you've contacted the bone, it may feel a little hypersensitive again. You may get a little twitch response from your patient. Again, remember to match the reciprocal tension of the tissues, cooperate with those tissues, and just allow enough time to slowly melt through the gastrox or around the gastrox head into that popliteus muscle. Once you contact the popliteus muscle, Again, have your direction of your fingers going superiorly and laterally. We want to go towards that popliteal pulse again. It may take some time, depending on how chronic this muscle has been tense, but slowly melt through the tissue, allow for an increased elasticity and a softening to occur in through this tissue and once you move towards that popliteal pulse, the treatment technique is completed for that popliteus. So again, my recommendation is to find that middle joint space, find the lateral distal condyle of the femur, find the popliteus, work towards the middle of the knee and the popliteal pulse, jump down to the superior medial aspect, posterior medial aspect of the tibia, find the popliteus again, slowly work towards the midline of the knee, towards the pulse, and once that tissue has released, your treatment technique is completed.